You'll hear, if you talk to people about Sean, you'll hear about his energy and his passion and his, his love of life and golf and his kids and family and just everything. Sentiments echoed across the Northwest for Lake Oswego golf pro Sean Fredrickson. Sheriff's officials say on Sunday, 48-year-old Fredrickson died in a float plane crash over Lake Coeur d'Alene in Idaho. His son Hayden and stepchildren Sophie and Quinn were also killed when their plane collided with another plane before crashing into the water. Four others also died. Fredrickson's wife, April Upchurch, released this statement. Many of you know that I lost my husband and beautiful children in a plane wreck over Lake Coeur d'Alene yesterday. I am reeling from the loss, but take solace in the fact that they were on an adventure and so excited for their first seaplane ride. Thank you for all of the love and support. It truly does help. I know that each touched many lives and that our entire Lake Oswego and Tualatin community will be grieving. Please know that we had a wonderful family weekend and an opportunity to spend time together. Thank you for keeping me in your prayers. Unbelievable tragedy for April, who's, uh, you know, his wife that's left in this position that no one should have to go through. Greg McMurray is general manager of Tualatin Country Club, where Fredrickson was head golf pro for 14 years. Very committed to not just the game of golf and his job, but he had a passion for, for that industry. Uh, certainly second only to the passion he had for his, his children and his family. He's, he committed a lot of time and effort uh, to them. Last year, Fredrickson was named PGA Professional of the Year by the Pacific Northwest Section PGA. He also became head golf pro at Oswego Lake Country Club. These photos show a memorial at the club honoring Fredrickson and his family. We all believe we were there for a reason at that time, and we did what we could do. Grant Merchant was wake surfing with friends on Lake Coeur d'Alene when the planes went down a couple hundred yards away. His boat teamed up with a couple fishermen to bring in two of the three bodies recovered. He shared what happened with our sister station in Spokane. We were looking for any wreckage, any any signs of life, anything that you know we could, we could recognize and help out. We just had a moment when we got back to their cabin on the lake there. We, we all had a moment to just kind of gather our thoughts and uh, say a prayer together. And Recovery teams have been searching Lake Coeur d'Alene for human remains and wreckage in 140 foot deep water. That's a challenge for Kootenai County dive teams, which can't exceed 100 feet. They'll bring in a commercial dive team to help while preserving wreckage for forensic evidence. Investigators say determining how the crash happened could take months. Closer to home, grasping this loss will take Greg McMurray longer than that. I'm trying to still uh, realize and, and comprehend everything that's happened. Catherine Cook, KGW News.